what's going on what's going on listen I'm back with yet another video and today we are going to be talking again about 4c hair how to grow longer 4c hair now for those of you who don't know what your hair texture is I know I understand the struggle is real it can be quite confusing watching YouTube videos trying to figure out what the heck texture your hair is especially with people who say they have 4C hair when they know good and well that they ain't got no 4C hair. Now, I think there are those who know good and well that they do not have 4C hair, and then there are those who just say it because it's the popular thing to say these days. So, we gonna talk about the real 4C hair, those who have it, and how to grow it, okay? Now, for those of you who have never watched my channel before, welcome. What you can find here are talks about maca root, organic liquid maca extract, okay, known to balance hormones, helps with fertility, libido, wellness, mood, energy, focus. If you're having feelings of anxiety, depression, maca helps with all of those things, okay? In addition to that, it is known to help both men and women in very specific ways. Everything affects people differently, but watch my videos. That's all I'm just gonna say, watch my videos. And you know I'll be back with more because my product is back, bigger and better. But we're gonna talk about 4C hair today, okay? Now, as far as things that I use in my hair, there are several things. And I've talked about that before in previous videos. But probably what I'm most consistent with and what I really have noticed has helped grow my hair. We're talking about products. We can go into techniques in another video if you'd like, but I've done that briefly before. But we can, we can talk about it further. As far as products, one specifically is the main choice growth oil. At first, I was like, mm, is it just hype? So many people have, have done videos on it. You see it everywhere, you see it all over social media, okay? But it actually, for me, really did and does work, okay? Now, this is what I have left in this bottle. But I literally, I, I don't know how long I've had this bottle. It's been a very, very long time. I wanna say a year, about a year, or maybe longer, I don't know. I've had this bottle a long time, so I'm not exactly sure, but I got it off of Amazon, okay? And it has a lot of great ingredients in it. It has soybean oil, it does have castor oil, sweet almond oil, rose rosemary, sorry, I was gonna say rose water. Rose water is also very good for your hair though. And glycerin, coconut oil, biotin, vitamin C and D. Okay, now I thought that I didn't have to show how to use it because I felt like it was self-explanatory. But I apologize because people are visual. I myself am visual. I need to see and hear to understand clearly sometimes. So this is the tip that the bottle has on it. I really do like it because literally you can just add a dab and then you go about your business you have more control of what it is that you're putting in onto your scalp, okay? Now, you really don't need a lot of this. I don't know how this works on others' hair. When I say other, other races, I don't know. I only can speak for myself and my 4C hair, which is of a kinkier or coarser texture. So it, it, it does well with this. It holds well, it absorbs it well. It does well with this, and like I said, a little bit goes a long way. Okay, so what you do is, you literally go like so. And that's me. It's best to do this in the daytime, because if you do it at night, 
you may mess up your your pillow, your pillowcase, your sheets. You don't want to do that, okay? But for 4C hair, it's important to keep it moisturized and it is important to, to use oils, so on and so forth. Now, a lot of the oils that I mentioned, you can use straight up. You can buy them straight up, castor oil, coconut oil. I've, I've, for those of you who know me, I love coconut oil, swear by it. And so that is also something that you can use. But you know, if you don't wanna go ahead and just go out and actually buy this, but I do highly recommend it. But you can make your own concoction of things for sure, or just use you know a couple here and there specifically and see how it does with your hair. But coconut oil I love. Tea tree oil is something that is also good for, for hair and skin. Uh, you use a little bit though because the scent is strong and also because you don't it's, you don't need a lot of that that's something that you kind of mix with with another oil or a carrier oil if you will olive oil you know uh, so there's that but this actually really does work and then like I said I don't especially with this hairstyle it's not much that I need to do I, I literally just go like so how often do I do this if I have drier areas such as I do now then, because it's gonna have to come out soon, such as I do now, then I do put a little bit more oil there, okay? Literally like in the back too. And just so you know, my hair is literally just parted all the way down. So I just put the oil and then I just kind of massage it in, you know what I mean? Massage it in like so. And that's me, I might do this three times a week okay better like I said do it in the morning so that you are not messing up your your pillowcase and my 4c hair people wear a satin scarf at night do not lay down on a no cotton thing and, and dry up your, your hair and scalp no protect your hair you know what I mean you have to come protect your hair so massage that in and you are good to go you're good to go and that's that's me like that's what I do with this and I just like I said tie my hair with a satin scarf or a silk scarf uh, I have a satin pillowcase let me tell you something on occasion I, I use my satin sheets not all the time but sometimes so I'm really out here because I, I don't take the best care of my hair all the time I'm just going I neglect it a lot some people who know me, I, I neglect it sometimes, but I do definitely wear my scarf at night, okay? Now the lip color that I am wearing, it is called Nude and Bougie. I do have on like a burgundy-ish brown lip liner with it, but the color is Nude, Nude and Bougie. And I did not put on lip gloss. I did not put on lip gloss. One thing that I can say about this lipstick is that it's very, very moisturizing. You really don't need to add a lip gloss, but if you do, then I would recommend you couple this with Pouty by Big Lips. And Pouty will just have your, mou your mouth, your lips, in maximum fullness, okay? The, the glass shine, when you put on the gloss, will just give a glass shine that gives you the appearance of fuller lips. But in addition to that, the ingredients literally do hydrate your lips, having them appear more youthful, plump, and all of that does aid in that. But this is me without the gloss, y'all. This is me without the gloss. Nude and bougie. It's just a brown, too. There's no pinkish hue or anything to it, which usually I'll wear like a pinkish brown or something like that, which the pouty is pinkish brown, but the lipstick itself, nude and bougie, is just brown. That's what I have on, if y'all are interested, okay? Eyeliner and mascara by Modestly Lavish. Okay, so that's what we're talking about today. I just wanted to quickly show, because people are like, okay, you gonna talk about Main Choice Growth Oil and not show us how to use it? And I was like, okay, I apologize, because I didn't think that you really needed an in-depth explanation, but, as you wish okay so we out here you know what I'm saying I wanted to show y'all how I use it and again I do highly recommend it I don't know how it is on finer hair textures I do not know because I feel that 
you don't need y'all don't need oils and stuff like in your hair and stuff like that because I think your hair is already very oily whereas we have to add oils to our to our tresses okay so that's about it I just want to say thank y'all so much for tuning in please like comment share and subscribe if you feel so inclined I do also ask that you hit that bell for notifications and I most definitely will be back with more all right thanks for tuning in Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Sorry. Nail strip drip. I switched it up again, y'all. This is the pink sparkly. I believe that's what it's called. I don't know, but this is available or maybe it's not. Oh shoot. Well, anyway, it might be sold out, but this is nail strip drip. $3.99. Okay. On eBay. This literally has been my saving grace. Nails pretty much stayed done easy to take off easy to apply this is me nails are growing like crazy i'm not going back to any type of gel or acrylic i have no need to unless i am given a manicure where that is required that is that is it that's it this is me okay so thank you all so much for tuning in check out modestlylavishstore.com new products are on there i'll be back with more and i'll holla <laughs>